Yeah, we we're recording now. Okay. I'd like to call this meeting to order of the Chesapeake Beach Ethics Commission today, March 17th at one o'clock. I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic the, for which it stands, it stands one nation, a nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. For all. I'd, I'd like, like to, to also approve the agenda for today's meeting. Does anybody have any objections or changes? Hearing none, let's go forward. The first item on the agenda is to nominate and vote on the new commission chair. I would like to nominate Peter Foiler. I think Peter is eminently qualified he, in fact, was one of the first people to work on this ethics ordinance. He also has a legal background, which uh, we certainly saw was, was, was quite, um, I'm hearing myself, I'm getting terrible feedback. So it's, this is a little crazy. But anyway, um, with Phil's legal background, it was, it was great to have that experience. And Peter's, Certainly one of the most ethical people I know. And, oh, I just got muted, I think. No, you sound good. No, I hear you. Yeah, you sound better, actually. You can yeah. hear me. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Good. Um, so anyway, uh, Peter is my choice, and I would like to nominate him and hope that the commission will approve that nomination. Well, I'm deeply honored uh, and... Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a humble man, and um, uh, I myself uh, had uh, uh, different ideas about the uh, proper chairmanship, uh, but um, uh, Ingrid is very persuasive, and uh, so uh, if elected, I would accept the office. Very good. That's Very wonderful. Good. <clears throat> I vote for Peter. Okay, thank you. Um, we move on to um, uh, agenda item uh, 4B, uh, uh, approval of the minutes of the uh, February 28th uh, Ethics Commission meeting. Uh, the minutes have been distributed and um, uh, is there uh, any objection? None. 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 Okay, the minutes are approved. Um, uh, uh, before we continue, I would uh, uh, exert my privilege uh, to make two, um, uh, make one su suggestion, and that is uh, for Sharon uh, in her capacity as the, um, uh, the clerk of the town of Chesapeake Beach uh, to uh, state for proper form's sake and later to uh, record in the minutes that uh, the, all members of the uh, commission uh, have been properly appointed by the mayor and council for their respective terms. Will do. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Holly. Um, uh, agenda items uh, for um, C, discuss whether the ethics ordinance should be amended regarding the employment of children of town officials. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, we've been discussing repeatedly uh, over the past. And um, I think it is time uh, that um, uh, we uh, you close this chapter and uh, uh, come to a uh, recommendation uh, that is uh, ready to be submitted to the uh, council. And uh, uh, Phil has uh, supplied us with a, uh, uh, a memo uh, outlining the, uh, uh, the status of the uh, discussions. 
and he has identified, and I think uh, there's no objection to that, uh, that uh, there are two alternatives, um, uh, two basic alternatives, um, each with some variations. Uh, one would be uh, to simply outright bar uh, the rewater park uh, or other uh, town uh, instrumentalities uh, to, from employing children of uh, uh, officials. It remains then to be decided whether this should apply only to elected officials or to uh, other uh, officials as well. Uh, it will be recalled uh, that the subject, uh, subject came up uh, because we found from one of the disclosure statements uh, that um, uh, children of, I believe, an elected official uh, were in fact um, uh, summer employees of the uh, uh, of the water park, and uh, that raised questions of um, a conflict of, of uh, interest. Uh, the alternative uh, uh, would be to leave the um, uh, existing wording of the ordinance in place, but um, uh, to um, uh, make it clear in other ways, including an advisory of the opinion, an advisory opinion of the commission uh, that um, uh, it is un uh, uh, unethical for elected officials question or appointed officials question uh, to um, uh, pressure uh, the water park uh, to uh, 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 appoint a, uh, uh, a child uh, or uh, any other close uh, uh, close relative, and uh, uh, what what is um, uh, and uh, 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 Greg, uh, 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 this is all brand new to you, and um, yeah, I, uh, you have to tell us whether you would want to have a uh, a fuller briefing or uh, reference to the. Uh, uh, not insubstantial paperwork this, that was generated during the course of our discussions. Is it, is it possible that Fred could give me a, a real quick synopsis? I, I, I'm fairly familiar with the, um, the issue and have dealt with it in the past myself, so. Um. Uh, 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 well, the... Um, uh, the easiest reference uh, would be an email that Phil sent on March the 1st uh, to the uh, uh, commission members uh, okay. right. uh, and uh, uh, council and to, uh, 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 to Sharon. And actually, uh, uh, Greg, I see your name here as a CC recipient. Uh, so you, you you know what uh, what everybody knows, right? Right. Okay. Very good. Greg, do you feel comfortable voting on this today, or do we want to give you a little bit of time to catch up, read, ask us questions through email, or or? No, I, I'm I'm comfortable. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Just wanted to be sure. Yes. Uh, well, does anybody else want to uh, speak, Ingrid? No, I kind of feel like we've hashed through this. I mean, we need to do something, as you said, yeah. um, and and move forward. Uh, all right, then. Um, uh, let's look at the... Um, uh, uh, or alternative number one is uh, uh, summarized in, uh, uh, in Phil's uh, memo. Uh, uh, is anybody willing to uh, introduce a motion uh, that um, uh, uh, we pass uh, a, uh, an amendment to the ordinance uh, that would uh, bar the water park from employing children of uh, uh, elected official. I will make that motion, Peter. Thank you. Uh, uh, Ingrid? Did, 
I heard somebody say they would make that motion, or is that was that, that was, Peter? No, that was Greg, I think. Yeah, okay. it was me. Yes. I'm not. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Motion I has will been make made. The motion. <clears throat> Okay. You want to make the motion, Greg? Go ahead. I made the, I made the motion. I'm looking for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I second. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Igor, did you say you second the motion? Yes, I do. Sorry about that. In that case, uh, the majority uh, is in favor. Um, uh, I believe in, in uh, accordance with precedents that I recall Phil having said, um, it is therefore unnecessary for the chair uh, to uh, uh, vote and uh, uh, the motion passes. Uh, uh, we would, um, uh, would it be um, uh, appropriate uh, uh, Fred for council uh, to uh, to draft the uh, exact wording that can be put uh, before the town council. Well, certainly I can, but I'm, I'm not clear exactly what the uh, motion was intending to do. Phil's uh, February 25th you know, memo laid out several different alternatives. The first one had to do with employment, which is what I think you all were uh, uh, talking about the second one under participation, uh, it was a little bit different. That one was addressing the situation where uh, somebody is employed and then uh, a, an official, elected official, is called upon to uh, you know participate or vote in some matter involving you know the uh, water park. So I didn't hear as part of the, just the motion and the discussion, any talk about the participation aspect of it. The first part of the employment, you know, Phil has uh, you know, laid out some proposed language, which uh, you know, given the vote of the commission, I think would be uh, legally sufficient. Uh, with respect to the second participation, uh, I disagree with uh, Phil's analysis that uh, the language currently would prohibit or would not prohibit a, an elected official for voting on a matter involving the water park if he or she had a child or other close relative employed. And the reason I say that is that looking at uh, Section 25-20, which is at the bottom of the first page of the memo and the top of the second page of the memo. Uh, it says, a covered person may not participate in any matter in which any of the following is a party. Uh, a, an entity for which the covered person or if known by covered person, a close relative is an officer, director, trustee, trustee, partner, or employee. So I, I think that, that in and of itself gives you know, sufficient uh, uh, direction that it would be a conflict of interest for an elected official to participate in a matter in which a close uh, relative um, or close relative with an employee of uh, the uh, uh, Water park, or is there any other similar instrumentality of the uh, town? Uh, we had talked about possibly uh, modifying the definition of entity, which is at the bottom of the second page. And the concern I raised was that the language, at least as proposed by Phil, uh, uh, Let me think, try and recall my discussion from the last time. Oh, 
Yeah, I was thinking that it might prohibit uh, just defining the word entity without regard to the other uh, provision, uh, might prohibit individuals from participating in matters involving the town itself, regardless of whether or not there was an employment issue associated with it. And I personally did not feel that that uh, modification was necessary or appropriate. So uh, bottom line is I think that from my perspective, the uh, text involving employment makes me clear that uh, and that the water park cannot employ cannot employ uh, a uh, close relative of an elected official uh, is sufficient to address you know the issues that you know, you've been concerned about without anything else. Uh, well, I, I think uh, we've just been uh, advised by council that that the. Uh, uh, the motion that uh, uh, was passed uh, is not ripe uh, for uh, further action, uh, meaning action by the uh, council, and uh, uh, that it should be uh, reconsidered. Um, I, I suppose um, uh, uh, we have the, uh, uh, the right and ability to uh, uh, go forward with the motion as passed uh, or to withdraw it. Uh, pending further uh, deliberations. Well, uh, uh, Peter, let me just clarify. I didn't say that the motion wasn't sufficient. Uh, what I said was, I think the motion only deals with you know, part of the two, one of the two issues that was raised in Phil's uh, February 25th uh, uh, memo. Yeah. Certainly the commission could send to the mayor and council uh, the recommendation for the motion that the council uh, introduce and, and approve an amendment to the town ethics ordinance uh, dealing with modification of section 25-23 uh, as proposed here. That would still leave on the commission's table, you know, the question of whether or not any further modifications are needed to deal with the uh, participation issue, two separate issues. So, you know, we, we, the commission can leave the motion as approved and then uh, take up the participation issue and either say, we'll accept council's guidance that no modification is needed to that, uh, uh, or you may disagree and say, yes, we do, th we do think modification is needed. And then either, you know, the solution that um, Bill has proposed or some other solution. My recollection was that uh, you know, either Phil and or the commission as a whole acknowledged you know, the concern that I had raised last time about you know, modifying the definition of entity in this particular way. And that I think I thought that Phil had said, okay, uh, commission members, see if you can come up with some other way to address the issue. And uh, uh, I don't know whether anybody has given alternative uh, any thought, but uh, I'm concerned about you know the language as proposed. Uh, I I confess that I've been uh, negligent in my uh, in my duties. Uh, I do recall uh, that. Um, we had left it uh, that uh, uh, members of the commission would uh, propose your know, specific uh, language. And um, uh, I have not done, personally, I have not done uh, uh, my, uh, uh, my duties in that, uh, uh, in that regard. So uh, all I can say at this point uh, is, um, uh, uh, let's go back to where we were and uh, uh, see uh, uh, further motions uh, that would clarify uh, the one that was uh, passed a few minutes ago. Is that uh, agreeable to everybody? Yes, um, and in, yes and no. 
<laughs> I'm wondering if it makes more sense for me to withdraw my mo my motion and have it uh, restated to uh, include or say that uh, we want to bar employment of a child or relative, as well as um, make the understanding that uh, it does not bar council from voting on issues that are related uh, to the water park. Uh, to try to clean that up a bit. Or should we if rather it keep it into two chunks where we have just the one where we talk about the hiring and the employment and leave that as its own separate right. issue and then this whole participation issue separate? I agree. Yes. Thanks, Ingrid. Yeah. Does that help, Peter? Uh, Yes, but uh, we, we still need um, a specific language uh, uh, to vote on, do we not? Are we ready to vote on the participation issue, Peter, or should we work on that language and then revisit that at the next meeting? I agree. Uh, I think so, yes. Uh, all, all right. Uh, I guess that's a, uh, a decision, isn't it? And, uh, no, I, or Peter, I think what I heard uh, was a suggestion that the commission grieve the motion that has already been adopted, that's an uh, action of the commission, and you know, take until the next meeting to the commission members to think about the participation issue again, and then bring it back at the next meeting, either with a decision that it is sufficient to bar participation uh, as you're concerned about, or if you feel that it needs some clarification to uh, yeah. bring forth some language. Uh, and if you'd like me to uh, you know, think about the language as well, I'll be happy to do so, but I would need that uh, guidance from you. And I would also think that we, uh, the commission should defer sending anything to the mayor and council until you know, you've concluded your discussions about both issues. Uh, oh, absolutely. We, do. we, don't, we don't want to look like fools. Uh, uh, all, all right then, um, let's uh, uh, put it off until the, uh, 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 the next uh, uh, meeting until we have a, uh, and then decide uh, on a complete um, package in a form that would enable the council uh, to vote up or down. Would the commission like, in addition to you all uh, of your own uh, potential modification to the language would you like me to look at it and uh, see if i can come up with anything yes please uh, yes it would certainly help us greatly okay <laughs> be happy to do so and i'm here to help you so if you ever would like my guidance or assistance you know please speak up i'm not necessarily going to take it on my own you know to inject myself into more work but i am here to um assist and provide guidance as necessary and desired. Thanks, Fred. Sure. So what I'll oh. do is I will look at the I'll go to the participation issue and then I will circulate you know uh, an email with some uh, with my thoughts. You know, yeah. well hopefully well prior to the next meeting. And uh, uh, Greg would you uh, uh, confirm in an email uh, uh, the wording that you spoke uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, withdraw your original mission, uh, your original, uh, your original um, uh, motion, and uh, uh, as I understand it, uh, introduce a motion that was uh, more artfully worded. I sure will. Thank you. All right. 
Um, I believe we can move on to uh, the next agenda item uh, that's for a D uh, review uh, draft of the uh, uh, disclosure statement for uh, 2021. And uh, that is a document uh, which has been uh, uh, sent to us um, after uh, some revisions by uh, uh, members uh, as part of the uh, uh, the package uh, for this uh, for, uh, for this meeting. Um, uh, I myself have uh, uh, one comment, uh, if I may go forward as uh, the first, um, in uh, 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 form A uh, 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 relating to real estate uh, owned or uh, rented, uh, the proposed um, Amendment of Form A uh, 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 provides that um, a copy of the previous year's um, form, uh, that would be in this case the uh, uh, form covering 2020, uh, is uh, still um, uh, in effect and the facts stated therein uh, have not been uh, uh, have not been changed. Uh, my, uh, 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 I, I'm very much in favor of, uh, you know, this simplification. Um, but my question is, uh, can we not uh, use the same uh, procedure uh, for other forms, uh, uh, such as um, uh, uh, Form B, uh, ownership of a business, uh, Form D, uh, employment uh, with uh, entities doing business with the town, and uh, 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 so on. In, in other words, the, uh, uh, the task that we put before the, uh, uh, the officials uh, would be um, to review their past submissions and tell us, has anything changed? Or if nothing has changed, uh, they say so. I guess I definitely understand where you're coming from, Peter, and we do wanna make things as simple as we can on the, the people who are completing these forms. But I, I worry that maybe not enough attention is given to it and they say, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember I, I filled out that form and um, you know, everything's the same. I, I can see in my tax practice here, you know, when I ask somebody, did you receive a $1,400 uh, stimulus payment, the economic impact payment last March? And, and they look at me and they say, no, I didn't get that, and I know well and good that their income qualifies them for it. I know they got the first two. I have to send them to the bank and tell them, you know, ask the bank, what, what did you get? And then, surprisingly, they, you know, they email me, call me, text me, and say, oh, yeah, that's right. I did get $1,400. <laughs> and if people can't even remember a, a gift of $1,400 a year ago, I'm not sure that they're going to remember what – the check marks here were, and I'm, I'm worried that it'll just get kind of a quick dismissal. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all the same. So I guess that's my hesitation there. Um, you know, for the most part, I think Form A was is the one that is the, the most substantial with all the real estate stuff and takes the most digging, and giving them a pass on that one, I think is definitely helpful. But some of these other ones, it, it really shouldn't be more than about a 10-minute exercise, if that of uh, most of these are going to be no, and they check the boxes. It's nice to have that annual validation. So I guess, I guess that's my concern with that. And then if we, if we make it too confusing, you know, this form I can do from last year, but this one I have to fill out this year, Maybe it's easier just to give them a pass on the first one and then say, hey, just roll through the rest. I don't, you know, again, I want to make it as easy and simple and, you know, not complicated and not time consuming. But it might, it might be easier just to have them do an annual validation and roll right through it. 
Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Uh, if, I agree with if, you. I, if I may, uh, uh, Sharon, or is Sharon planning to send out to everybody the forms that they submitted last year so that they will know what they said last year? Can you do that, Sharon, technically? I can. Because I think it's... Uh, and, I mean, well, if they request... Uh, well, if um, if we go that route, uh, uh, then uh, uh, why amend <clears throat> just mm -hmm. form A uh, with the um, uh, notice that has been uh, proposed? There has been no change. Um, you know, it, it is true that uh, form A is a little more complicated uh, to uh, uh, to fill out. Uh, but if we go through the trouble, or rather if we put Sharon uh, through the trouble of having to you know, dig up last year's forms, ship them to the, um, uh, to the uh, 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 relevant persons, uh, then uh, you know, why, why don't we uh, uh, have them go through the relatively minor uh, effort of looking at the previous year's form A uh, and uh, filling in the blanks again. I really hate the thought of dumping that on Sharon and making her dig them all out and send them out and here's the new one and here's the old one. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, how do you feel about that, Sharon? Do you, it seems like, I know you've already got a pretty heavy workload is that something you want to take on? Um, I mean, I don't have any problem in doing that. Um, maybe some people, you know, made a copy of their their disclosure before they submitted right. it last year yeah. so that they would yeah. have it. Yeah. Um, and that's what I say if somebody would, you know, uh, say, could I get a copy of my last year's? Um, um, you know, I have no yeah. issue in sending that out. Yeah. But yeah, we could house. do it I'll that way. I would do it that way, yeah. Well, most likely this will happen. Uh, even if people made copies, that was a year ago, and they may come back and say, uh, yeah, I know I filled it out, but I can't find it anymore. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's possible too. Mm -hmm. Well, any any uh, further discussion? Um, uh, any other comments on the uh, uh, on on the form? I'm uh, in agreement. I'm in agreement with Ingrid. I'm I'm not liking the idea of dumping extra work on um, on Sharon. But uh, if someone would ask for that because they don't have it, that's that's different. I think. Yeah. And as someone stated, um, it's it's probably on most people's computers anyway. So. Uh, uh, Peter, if I may, I sent an email out yesterday that there needs to be a correction on the appointed official form with respect to form A, and that needs to indicate uh, that it is always seeking information uh, relating to ownership of property in Chesapeake Beach within 10 miles of the town's boundaries, similar to the statement mm -hmm. that uh, is inserted under rented real estate. Yes, that language didn't make it into the, uh, uh, into the version of the form that we are now looking at. Uh, uh, I can fix that. I can revise it to say so. Okay. Because otherwise, I, uh, I saw the, the other changes you made, Sharon. Otherwise, that looks that they look good. You caught most of it. So you're human, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, okay, um, uh, uh, Sharon, would you uh, uh, would you provide that uh, that correction uh, uh, that page only and uh, uh, send it to us um, uh, when you get around to it, uh, so everybody has Perfect. the uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, version. And uh, with that understanding, um, uh, are we ready to uh, 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 to approve the form? Um, in the, do we approve the disclosure statement uh, in that form, uh, keeping in mind uh, that um, uh, it has to be sent out uh, uh, to the uh, relevant people um, uh, pretty damn quick? Well, I think Holly was also going to make some more cosmetic changes too. Was she not, Sharon, just to fix it up and spruce it up a little bit? Um, well, what I was saying when I sent that out is that the, the copy that you all got in your package wasn't, it was just a scanned copy. But once yeah. it's put on the uh, website, it'll be nice and clear. And, and okay, neat. gotcha. Uh, I, I, I don't think I quite got that, uh, Holly. Um, uh, are there are there further language changes that um, uh, that you worked out in the, uh, that we don't see you at at the form that on the table? No, uh, uh it's just that what what I sent you was just a scanned copy, and it wasn't uh, a clean, crisp uh, right. version. But when we oh, put it on the website, it will be. Oh, 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 okay. I understand now. Yeah. And and then I think some of the formatting changes, you know, like if I look at form F, we've got lines that are out of boundaries, some of that type of stuff. Wasn't she going to address that as well? Yes. Uh-huh. Or clean it up. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Um, okay. I think for, for, for proper form, uh, the uh, uh, commission members uh, should uh, should receive uh, the final form of the form uh, before it gets sent to the uh, uh, to the uh, reporting individuals. Yes. So no no objection. No objection. No. no. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, decided then uh, that the uh, the cosmetic the uh, the additional language proposed by Phil will be. Uh, inserted, uh, further formal changes uh, will be made, and um, uh, the final version will be sent once more uh, to the uh, 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 to the commission members uh, before it is uh, uh, sent out. And uh, you know, I will canvass the uh, uh, you know uh, the you know, my fellow members. Uh, to see whether they receive this, whether they have any further comments, and then uh, give the green light to Sharon. And Sharon, I can't remember how we did it last year. Did we just post this to the website and then direct the elected and appointed officials to the website to have them pull it down and complete it? Or are you actually emailing it to, to each of those? No, we, we put it on the website and gave them the option of either printing it out or just going right on the website and submitting it from there, filling in the blanks. And then I think we're posting that on the 1st, April 1st, is that correct? Uh, whenever you all would like. They're due April 30th, so that, right. that would give them plenty of time. Yeah. Not, with, not that we want it to be any kind of April Fool's joke or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> we could always make it March 31st if we need to then. <laughs> okay. I just, just kind of wanted to review timing and everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we know how to proceed. And uh, uh, can move on to item 4E of the agenda. Uh, and uh, uh, that I think is related in some way to 
to the next uh, agenda item F. Um, it's also something that, that we have been uh, uh, debating uh, uh, every which way. And uh, uh, the um, uh, you know, uh, if I may, may summarize uh, my understanding of the present state of affairs, uh, we, uh, 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 we received a, um, uh, a complaint uh, from a resident uh, that involves um, uh, a, uh, it sounds like a feud between uh, the um, uh, some officials of a homeowners association and uh, some uh, uh, residents. And I believe the, uh, the consensus that, uh, uh, that we came to is uh, that um, yeah, uh, there is nothing, uh, there's no violation of the ethics ordinance uh, that has been uh, alleged. Now, there were a number of uh, procedural uh, issues uh, that uh, were addressed by, uh, uh, by uh, our chairman. Um, and, uh, but uh, uh, still, it uh, uh, seemed to us that, um, uh, that uh, 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 whatever misconduct uh, may have occurred is either a uh, uh, internal matter of the um, uh, the homeowners association, uh, uh, but it uh, uh, or it may be uh, a um, an ethical uh, issue, but nothing that is um, uh, uh, covered uh, by the uh, ethics ordinance. And um, uh, council has um, uh, advised, and that advice was, um, as I uh, recall, passed along to the individual who uh, complained uh, that there is a section in the state attorney general's office that deals with exactly these uh, matters, internal disputes uh, within a homeowners association. Uh, that information was passed along uh, to the uh, complaining individual, uh, but um, uh, it, uh, uh, it is unclear whether it is uh, you know, uh, responsive uh, in the eyes of that, um, uh, uh, that individual. Uh, there is... Um, uh, I had, uh, 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 bear, bear, bear with me if you, uh, if you want. Um, Okay, I've, I, uh, 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 I found it. Uh, 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 we have a provision in the ethics ordinance. Um, it's uh, uh, 25 dash uh, 23 B, letter B, um, uh, uh, which states uh, a covered person may not be employed by or have a financial interest in any entity that is subject to the authority of the town. Uh, I believe it is our position that a homeowners association falls into that category, uh, uh, meaning that it is subject to the authority of the town. Um, the um, individuals uh, whose conduct is being complained about, uh, uh, you know, what I take to be officers of the homeowners association, uh, but uh, they are not employed or have a financial interest in that uh, entity, and so uh, this would be no concern uh, to the um, uh, uh, to this commission. 
uh, I am uncertain as to any uh, a, a, a relevant aspect. Um, uh, we uh, in the uh, in the recent past uh, uh, adopted a proposed uh, amendment to the ordinance, uh, which would uh, uh, broaden the prohibition. Um, uh, it would say a covered person. Uh, 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 may not serve as a director or officer of um, the, the relevant ent entity. Uh, and that is would be in addition to being employed or having a financial interest. Uh, I am unsure whether that proposed amendment uh, uh, has ever become law. And uh, maybe... Um, uh, Maybe someone can uh, enlighten me, uh, or else we, we will have to ask um, uh, Holly or uh, 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 yeah, she, I guess she would be the one to ask. She is the official record keeper. Uh, but uh, can can uh, anybody uh, does anybody have no relevant knowledge about uh, that proposed amendment where it stands? I, I don't think anything has been passed as far as I know, Peter. Um, I do know, I remember seeing a response that Phil drafted, and I believe Sharon sent out to the complainant, um, basically directing this person to, I think it was, a, it was a state office that handles these kinds of complaints, and, and it seemed right. to be you know, the appropriate place for the complainant to go and, and seek redress. Um, uh, Sharon, did we send that out? Do you, do you remember? I believe that Phil sent that I, out. Okay. Uh, I, I, I see Phil uh, uh, is raising his, uh, uh, his hand. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. I did send that out. And it is my understanding that the uh, recommended improvements in the ethics ordinance are, have not been adopted. Um, and I think the most recent reason given to me was uh, the town doesn't want to consider those amendments until we make a recommended a recommendation on the water park employment. Um, mm. Now, okay. I don't see the logic to that, but... Uh, mm. Well, I, yeah, I don't either. What in the world does one have to do with the other? Well, it's, it's, it's the mayor's privilege to uh, uh, you know, handle this matter the way he, he, sees, uh, uh, he sees fit. Okay, okay. so my question is, is answered, um, and my conclusion is uh, there is nothing in the ethics ordinance as it stands uh, that uh, would address the um, uh, deeds that have been uh, have been alleged. Uh, if that particular uh, amendment, uh, if the ordinance is amended, uh, as my uh, marginal notes here uh, show, then my answer would be different. Um, uh, then uh, uh, it would be um, uh, uh, the town would be uh, entitled to. Uh, uh, require those two members to resign uh, their uh, those two alleged culprits uh, to resign their positions and their homeowners association. Uh, but as it stands, uh, the uh, uh, the town itself and certainly this commission uh, does not have that uh, authority. And so for now, uh, the answer uh, that um, uh, the commission should give to the complainant is the one that uh, they already have received from the uh, uh, field. There is in the state a competent authority um, that, and that is the address that you should go to uh, in order to um, get redress for your, uh, for your uh, uh, grievances. And that would conclude the matter as we are concerned. Yeah. You know, I, I do kind of want to throw into the mix too um, I remember after the election in 2016 uh, with the current mayor here, he did ask of the four new incoming town council presidents or um, town council members 
who were elected, each of them were presidents of their respective HOAs, he did have them all step down from that position So uh, prior to serving on town council. So we do have a precedent here, um, oh. and we need to, I think we need to consider that as well. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, I, I wasn't around back then. Um, but uh, does, does it, uh, uh, I, I, I would still uh, you know, stand by my uh, suggestion that we refer the complainant uh, to the proper state uh, agency. But in addition, uh, I think uh, the um, uh, commission should uh, inform the mayor that it has come to our attention uh, that um, uh, these particular individuals uh, uh, who had essentially pledged uh, to step down from their offices in their HOA uh, have in fact uh, appear uh, or are alleged not to have done so and um, uh, then leave it up to the mayor uh, to decide uh, whether he wants to forget the whole thing uh, or whether he would um, uh, you know, uh, push for fulfillment of the, uh, uh, of the promises uh, they, uh, 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 they, 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 they made. Of course, we don't know. Um, did, did, the layer, did the mayor, is the mayor, A, aware that these people are on their HOA? Uh, the other ones, I believe, all four of them, I think, were presidents of their HOA. Whether that makes that much of a distinction or not, yeah, I, I I don't know. Um, so we I guess we don't know what if what if the mayor has discussed this with these other mm -hmm. individuals at all. Well, uh, 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 Ingrid, I, uh, he he may or may not have done mm -hmm. that, but um, uh, it, uh, we don't need to worry about it. We just tell him the facts that have been brought to our attention. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, we conclude that there may have been a breach of the promise and then leave it up to him uh, to uh, decide what he wants to do, if anything. I, I, mean, he, I agree. He may, I mean, he, there should he, be consistency. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, personally, as a resident, um, uh, I'm uh, offended by these allegations assuming they are true. Um, you know, uh, politicians routinely lie um, in their election campaigns. Everybody knows that and, um, you know, uh, certain lies are routinely discounted. It's part of the, uh, of the game of politics. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know how the mayor feels about it. Um, uh, he may be deeply offended uh, that he extracted a promise um, on which uh, the promisor uh, reneges, uh, but that's not, uh, that's not our concern. Correct. We push this back to the mayor and he can decide what he wants to do with it. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, if I may, yeah, there's, an, there's another issue that uh, we talked, uh, the commission talked about before, and that is that this complainant had requested anonymity uh, and that the respondent not be uh, made aware of uh, who filed the complaint. And I think that that request in and of itself would preclude the commission from acting uh, in any substantive way on the complaints to looking at the commission's rules of procedure for handling complaints. Uh, uh, section Roman numeral 6.4, uh, upon receipt of a complaint, the commission will forward it to the respondent and both parties will be informed of the procedure the commission intends to follow. And uh, if, the if the complainant is saying, I don't want you to tell uh, the respondent who filed the complaint, then I don't think you have anything uh, actionable uh, to proceed forward on. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, th uh, th uh, uh, you know, thanks. Thanks, Phil. Um, uh, that is true. I, I recall that, and I suppose uh, everybody uh, uh, does. Uh, but I don't think uh, that uh, we should simply stand on, uh, you know, basically uh, refuse to accept the complaint uh, as an action item uh, strictly on uh, formal and procedural grounds. Um, you know, if uh, I would not say that, uh, perhaps, uh, if uh, we hadn't been informed by uh, our council uh, that there is in place a, um, uh, a procedure, an institution in the state uh, that uh, you know, deals with matters of this uh, kind. And um, so we have, uh, uh, there is something positive uh, uh, we, um, uh, we can do, and in fact, which we have done uh, already, uh, because I, as I recall, I saw a, uh, uh, your email to the, um, uh, to the complainant uh, that, uh, you know, here is the, uh, uh, the proper agency uh, to which you, uh, 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 to which you have to turn. Uh, you have also uh, explained the uh, procedural reasons, um, and uh, that may or may not be uh, uh, satisfactory uh, to the complainant, uh, but if it isn't, we can't help it. Um, so my, my own bottom line is um, uh, we did what we uh, could. Uh, uh, we may follow up, um, I guess it would be up to me to, uh, uh, to write to the uh, complainant referring to the um, uh, correspondence you received from my predecessor, uh, again, referring her to the, um, uh, to the state uh, uh, agency and uh, uh, maybe uh, restating uh, that uh, procedural under, uh, we have to ab abide by our own rules. Um, you know, we cannot take us as a, uh, uh, as a uh, uh, complaint, uh, I would stop short of um, uh, saying that uh, uh, we don't see there is an, you know, nothing has been alleged uh, that uh, would amount to an ethics uh, violation under the ordinance uh, that may be uh, superfluous. Uh, but then, uh, you know, I uh, propose also to send a note to the, uh, 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 to the mayor uh, telling him, you know, this has been alleged um, and uh, do as you see fit. We think we, uh, you should be informed of this. No more. Phil, did, um, did you get a response back from that email that you sent the, the complainant? I don't think I did for the last one. I, now, routinely, I have always, if I get anything from anybody, I routinely automatically forward it to uh, everybody. Uh, but let me let me just check my my email, my inbox. Yeah, I I didn't see it uh, for what it's worth. Uh, what we did receive is um, uh, uh, what appears to be the very earliest uh, statement of complaint that seems to have gone astray in the mail somehow, and uh, that was reasonably unearthed by. Uh, by Sharon, uh, who sent it uh, to uh, 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 who sent it to me and uh, uh, the, the rest of the uh, uh, of the commission, uh, but the, that adds nothing, uh, sh uh, sh uh, sheds no additional light on this uh, 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 controversy. So it's something to be noted and filed away. Anything further on this uh, uh, question? Does anybody see a, a, a substantive issue here which would uh, compel us to uh, investigate uh, uh, further? No, I, I think we've done the right thing and we've uh, directed the complainant to the appropriate office at the state level. So I think we definitely have answered the mail. 
I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we are. Um, uh, we are done with uh, agenda item for E. Um, uh, you know, related to that in or a, a spin off of that is uh, agenda item F. Consider whether the ethics ordinance should be amended to bar officials from serving on the boards of directors or of homeowners associations. I think um, we already did that at a previous meeting um, uh, by uh, 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 proposing the uh, uh, the amendment uh, to uh, uh, where is it? Uh, uh, section uh, 25-23B of the ordinance, uh, which would um, state a covered person may, uh, in addition to not be employed or have a financial interest in any such entity, uh, may not serve as a director or officer of any such uh, entity. And um, so I think that should be uh, uh, take care of um, agenda item F. Uh, does anybody disagree with uh, my bold uh, assertion here? Uh, Peter, does that mean we have the language that we wanna send forward? Um, I, I, um, I'm, I'm looking at my, my annotations on the uh, uh, text of the ordinance, uh, which uh, should reflect um, uh, the submission that we, um, in fact, made to the, uh, uh, to the council, uh, the one that uh, Phil referred to, to uh, where the mayor responded, uh, we'll look at it when you guys have done, completed your job and... Uh, uh, you know, you, um, uh, you give us a package of all the changes that okay. um, that I'll have to go want. back and review those. Yes. All right. And and the relevant language is um, uh, between the words or have a financial interest in now insert or serve as a director or officer of and then the text continues as uh, as it stands any entity, uh, and then there's a, uh, a laundry list of, uh, uh, of entities. The, the relevant language for our case here is any entity that is subject to the authority of the town. And as I believe I uh, uh, mentioned, uh, we had uh, uh, all uh, uh, determined uh, that a homeowner association uh, is, uh, uh, falls into that category, so, an entity under the authority of the town. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. Um, are there any uh, additional matters uh, for discussion that anybody wants to bring to this meeting? No, I don't have any. Bill has his hand raised. Uh, well, I don't have anything else uh, myself. Bill? Last item. Um, Bill had his hand raised. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear. Peter, uh, Phil has his hand raised. He'd like to add something, I think. Oh, I, I, I can't see him right now. Oh, that's but, right. Uh, that's yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Phil. Um, okay. Um, what something happened early in the meeting uh, proves the wisdom of Robert's rules of order. Uh, it clearly says small groups, I think it says under 10 people, committees, you cannot require a, a second in order to have a motion considered by the group. Oh. The purpose of a second in a large group is to assure that there's at least two people Mm -hmm. want to talk about something yeah. if it's a small group three people 
any individual has a right to make a motion and have it discussed and then later voted on without having to, well, you know, what happened here is one person made a motion, somebody seconded it, and it was treated as that's a vote because yeah. two out of three people <laughs> want to pass. <laughs> and that's, that's the reason for that rule. Uh, I think if you want to have, require a second, I think we have to amend the rules of procedure. So there. I... Thank you. Okay, I, I will uh, 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 take a look and, and uh, uh, see whether we have to do that. But uh, otherwise, uh, 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 let us bend to the wisdom of uh, Robert Schultz. All right. Um, uh, next regular uh, uh, meeting. Did, did, did I hear correctly that if uh, we we hold that in April, that we can meet at town hall? Is it is April the magic date? Yes. Okay. We might want to consider that, Peter. Um, yeah, I'm very much in in favor. Uh, uh, April the 1st is a Friday, uh, but in order to avoid being uh, made the butt of jokes, <laughs> uh, 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 we um, uh, the only day in April uh, I would prefer not to meet is the 15th because history shows that at that time, I'm not finished with my tax return. Well, and, you actually uh, have a three-day extension this year, you know, they're due on the 18th. Oh. Huh. oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I missed that. Uh, all right. Um, uh, if we could meet after the 18th, that would help me a little bit. Because you are over, over your ears and... Uh, oh, okay. yes. I, yeah. I will be completely occupied up until then. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I am, I'm free the rest of that week as well as the, uh, the following week. And... Uh, Greg, how does April look for you? Uh, eight, 18th, 19th, 20th look good. You, you guys want to go with Wednesday the 20th at, at 1? Sharon, does that work for you? Yeah, that's good. That works for me as well. Okay. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the 20th uh, it is. And um, uh, if all goes well, uh, uh, if we can, uh, we'll meet um, uh, at Town Hall. Uh, if not, and many things can happen between now and then, uh, uh, we will have another virtual meeting. Okay. And the, the time of day um, uh, is, uh, is the middle of the day uh, acceptable or possible for everybody or would have to be in the after work days hours. One o'clock is fine for me. Good for me too. Oh, okay. Good for me too. Uh, okay, well, one, one o'clock p.m. on uh, Wednesday, April the 20th uh, is our next meeting. Uh, and uh, uh, the final item, uh, comments uh, by commission members or members of the public. I don't think we have any uh any visitors do we don't think so i no. am i'm a member of the public <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, thanks for being here <laughs> i uh, uh yes you 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 are uh and uh uh but we consider you an honorary member uh <laughs> 
All right. Um, in that case, um, the meeting is adjourned. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day, yes. Yes. Everybody stay healthy and safe. Yes. Haven't seen the Ospreys yet. I have. You have? Yep, they're in the wetlands. Ah. Oh, wow. Punctually Great. like the post office. Mm. Ah. Uh, very good. Okay, th thank, thank you, everyone. Thank and you, Dave. Uh, thank uh, thank, you. Thanks, Phil. Bye. Bye-bye.